All right, you guys, I am excited. This is Makeup Monday, and I'm gonna talk to you about some makeup brushes in Mary Kay. So I'm gonna give you guys just a couple minutes to pop on and uh, make sure that you share this if you'd like to or tag a friend um, in this post so you can share it and tag your friends and just let everybody know um, and you can pass it along. And I was super excited to be able to share um, a little bit about these makeup brushes. So I hope that today is um, a value to you. I hope your Monday is going well and this will be a nice little break from all that good stuff. Hi, Kathy, good to see you. Um, so I'm gonna take just one more minute to let some other people pop on and then I'm excited to share with you all of these goodies. I absolutely love, love, love our brushes. So I'm excited to share with you all the tips and all the reasons why these are some of my favorites. So what I'm going to do is uh, first introduce myself, I guess, since some of you may or may not know who I am. Uh, but my name is Margaret Lampkin and um, I've been, Gosh, a part of Mary Kay now for, can you believe it, 23 years. Isn't that crazy to say? Oh my goodness, 23 years. And just in those 23 years, just, there are so many advances in not only the science behind our skincare, but also in the technology um, involved in making our makeup brushes. And uh, first, um, what I'd love to do is make sure uh, if you're joining in, feel free to, you know, if a consultant invited you to watch, just type in her name so we know um, that uh, that she asked you to join. And uh, this will be pretty short and sweet, so I'm not expecting it to be too long, but uh, I would love to have questions. So if you guys have questions, please feel free to type them in the comments. So at the very end, um, I can answer any questions if we've got time, okay? All right, so um, first off, I just wanna show you first, here is the, um, the Mary Kay brush set. And I love this whole container here. It's actually a pouch that zippers all around like that. And so it really keeps everything all nice and organized, which I love, right? We love to be organized. Um, so when you open it up, it's got these five, five brushes are included in this particular set. Okay. So the best part is though, on the other side, there are little pockets, if you can see, where you can add your own, um, uh, you know, liners and eyeliners, lip liners, things like that, other tools that you might use. Um, or I'm gonna show you in a second, the additional brushes that we carry will also fit in this side. So you can kind of design it, but it keeps everything nice and organized. So first I'm gonna talk about the five brushes that are in the brush collection that automatically come with it. So the first one is our all over powder brush. This is the softest brush, you guys. I can't even tell you, it is so soft. It is so soft. These bristles in all of our Mary Kay brushes are all synthetic. And the reason they are synthetic, it's a newer technology and the synthetic uh, te technology that we used in these particular bristles will actually cross all forms of products. So for example, a cream, a liquid, and a powder can be used with all of our brushes. And that's something that's unique to our brush collection. So this is our all over powder brush, and this would be used for you know, your translucent powder that you're putting on, um, just dusting it with a bronzer. That's another great, um, reason to use this all over powder brush. And I'm gonna show you just a quick tip here. So this is our translucent powder. And if you've purchased this before, you may have had the experience where you open this up and everything is just like all over the place. So be careful of that. Um, when you turn, I'll show you guys, there's like a little click in there, you turn it. And what you'll wanna do when you first get this is actually shake it up first, then open the lid. And you see how there's product in the lid? That's where you wanna go <laughs> to add the product to the brush, okay? Then always tap, no matter if you're putting on a shadow or your powder, always tap the brush first before you're actually applying it, okay? So that's just my, <laughs> 
that's my biggest tip for today. Um, if you don't want to put a mess in your bathroom, then make sure to apply it that way. Never put the bristles just inside the jar because it will be a big mess. All right, so that's the all over powder brush. Remember, you can use it with the translucent powder or the bronzers. And then the next one is our cheek brush. And this one, you can see it's got an angle tip here. And so it makes it very versatile when you're applying cheek color. You can, of course, tap it in your cheek color and you can do the apples of your cheeks with this uh, curved section here, that spot on there, or you can actually use this for contouring as well with the positioning of where you hold the tip. So if you can see, there's like a little divot right here in the brush, and that is where your fingers can go to apply better pressure to either make this more narrow at the top or um, to do contouring or you can do um, highlighting as well. So depending on what you're applying, then that's where you want to, uh, to use the brush. So narrow up here would be more for contouring, over here would be more for highlighting, but you just hold the brush like that and you can see how the bristles kind of come together like that. That will help you get better application. So that's the cheek brush. Again, these all come in the brush collection. And then these last three here, these are for, um, for our eyes, okay? And I'm also gonna tell you, there's a couple of these you can actually use on your lips too. Well, one of them. So um, first one, this is our all over powder brush. It's dense, I love this because wherever you put the color is where the color is gonna stay. And you're always gonna wanna apply from the outside in whenever you're applying color. Remember, you tap the color, or sorry, tap to get the color applied, and then you tap on the back of your arm, back of your hand, and then that will give you the even color. So this is used to kind of blend out, um, which is great. And then, before that probably, I should have talked about this one. This is our, um, the crease brush. So see how it's kind of narrow on the edge there? So that is intended to go right in the crease and you're literally tapping the color. If you kind of see my eye uh, color, how I applied it, it's sort of like in a V. So you tap the color in with the crease brush and then you use the all over powder brush to blend it out. Okay, that softens the edges, all right? The best part about these brushes, you guys, is they all say what they're used for. This says eye crease, if you can see that. <laughs> this is for your eye crease. And this is the all over shadow brush, okay? So you could use this to blend out. You could even use it for a highlighter, um, things like that for your eyes. So those are two of the eye uh, brushes that are in the collection. And then this one is one of my favorites. They're all my favorite, right? This is our eye smudger brush. This one you can't live without. I'm serious. If you want to do any kind of um, smoky effect with your eyeshadow, this is the brush you want to have. That's why it's automatically included in our brush collection because everybody needs it. Um, not only will it help you to blend out shadows um, on the top of your lid or underneath, but you guys, you can also use this to apply lip color too which is really important to know. And you can also use it to um, tap like right in the center of the eye here where you wanna put a little highlighter color to kind of open up the eyes. This is a great brush because see it's so narrow that you get the color just right where you need it. So either smudging around the eyes or tap in the middle um, there to kind of brighten with a, high, with a highlighter, okay? or you can use it to apply lip color, which I actually found that out uh, not too long ago. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so those were the five brushes that are automatically included. You get the all over powder brush, you get your cheek brush, and then of course you have your um, eye crease brush, the smudger, and then the all over powder brush. Those are the five that come in the uh, brush collection and of course it comes with the zipper bag okay so next up here i'm going to just talk about these last few here and the reason that they're not included in the the brush collection is because we all have different preferences when it comes to applying our foundation right some of us like a more sheer coverage some of us like a more um, fuller coverage and you're going to see that with these brushes i'm going to share with you um, i'm going to talk about the foundation brushes first they are very dense 
and look at this angle that's here. This particular brush, you guys, you can actually apply your foundation directly to the tip. And Mary Kay specifically did not designed it this way so that there's less mess, okay? You can always apply it to your hand, right? You know, on the back of your hand and kind of dip it in there and apply it. But I actually apply the foundation, my liquid foundation, right to the tip and different ways of applying your foundation with this. If you want more of a fuller coverage, then you're going to actually tap and kind of stipple around your face, okay? A little lighter coverage, you can kind of smooth it out a little bit, and um, there's just different effects you can have with this liquid foundation brush. Now, because of the, the edge as well, you can get into the crevices really nicely, and it just gives you that airbrushed look. So this would be for your liquid, foundation okay best to be used for that so our either luminous or our matte wear uh, foundation okay so just remember you can do different applications to make your foundation look fuller or look more sheer so that's our liquid foundation brush then you have this option if you're a powder girl um, then you want to use this powder brush so this powder brush it says powder foundation. Um, see how different this is from the all over powder brush. This is for your all over translucent powder or your bronzing, just your light dusting, right? Now this is more for your foundation. So if you're one of my mineral powder girls, um, then you want to use this brush. And again, you saw my trick at the beginning. When you shake this up, you you know, unscrew it and then take this into the lid only. So just this part, <laughs> just this part here, you're gonna apply the brush in there, tap it again, and then you swirl it around your face. And that's gonna give you a really nice fuller coverage. And some of us just prefer that mineral powdered look. Some of us prefer that liquid look. It's totally up to you, but you wanna use the right tools in order to get the effect. And you guys, it's so important to have the right tools. If you, it's just like, <laughs> in anything. You need to have the right tool in order to get the job done, right? So this is the powder brush. Definitely work this uh, well with the um, with the mineral foundation that we carry, which I love as well. I love that we have options because everybody has, um, you know, a different preference. And then this is our newest and latest favorite. Uh, this is our blending um, brush. No, not a blending sponge, but a blending brush, okay? So this is highly, highly dense. I don't know if you know if you can even see, like it's, it's so dense. This is amazing, you guys. You put your liquid foundation on here and then you actually kind of swirl it all around. Now this is gonna give you um, a nice uh, sheer coverage. You can of course reapply to make it or even do the little tapping or stippling. Um, but some people just like this uh, with the handle and being able to tap it like that and just being able to get right around your eyes and stuff. It's really, really great. So this is a new addition um, to our brush collection uh, or our brush options. Um, so remember the collection first comes with the five brushes and then these are additional add-on um, brushes. And you guys can purchase any of these um, individually too which is great so you don't have to buy a whole new set I will give you a quick tip though you want to have different the, you want to have several of the same kinds of brushes and the reason for that is because you're probably going to maybe like I said you could use the smudger brush for a lipstick and you can also use a smudger brush for your eyeshadow so when you're kind of doing your thing you want to make sure when you're getting ready that you have multiples of those. So that way you have a powder brush that you're using just for your powders and one maybe just for your lipsticks, okay? Um, so just a little, little inside tip there. Uh, last two I wanna share with you. This is our cream color br brush. This one is awesome because you can use this, again, for lipstick, if you like to apply your lipstick that way. Um, but So that's for the cream. But then you can also use it for concealer or your under eye corrector. Now you guys know me, maybe you don't yet, but under eye corrector, perfecting concealer, mix those together and it is like heaven to brighten up your eyes. Absolutely amazing. Those are like, you have to have under eye corrector. Like it is the the product, um, but you can use this instead of your fingers to apply it. If you apply this with a concealer, 
then you would just put the concealer, I do recommend putting it on the back of your hand first and then tapping. If you're just trying to get like one little spot, then you wanna use the tip of it here, okay? Obviously less color will get to your face if you're using the tip. But if you wanna cover a wider area, then of course you're going to flatten it out and go across the eyes that way. So just little tips there, but I do recommend putting it on the back of your hand first before you're applying it. And then if it's a concealer you're doing, you just wanna tap it right where you need it, but just get it on the very tip. So that's our cream um, brush. And then the last one, oh, our favorite here. So this one is our spoolie brush. Okay, I call it a spoolie brush. That's probably not the technical term, but <laughs> it's an eyebrow, okay, um, on this side. And then we have an eyeliner on this side. Look how thin that is. And you guys, these bristles are so like taunt. They are awesome. So biggest, I think, reason I have this one is to, of course, <laughs> adjust my eyebrows. Uh, so that's the spoolie end. This side here is really great because you can use it to apply um, your eye shadow as eyeliner or you could use this to smudge out a pencil liner that you apply to your eyes. So for example, I have liquid eye liner on my top of my lid. So what I did is I actually um, used my end here of the eyeliner brush. I tapped it in some Sweet Plum is the color that I had on and I tapped it in there and then I literally just kind of tapped it across like that on my eyelid. So that's one tip you can use with this. If I was using, which sometimes I do, a pencil liner, so I've literally like drawn a mechanical pencil, ours are super soft, then you would take this and literally just kind of smudge on top of that just to kind of soften it a little bit. It's not giving you that smoky look, it's just softening the liner look, okay? All right, so <laughs> Sherry, I know you're so excited to use your brushes. I want, we need to know how to use them, right? Okay, so that is one tip there. Now that makes, you guys probably have noticed in our line, we have only three eyeliner colors. We have um, deep brown, we have steely, and we have black, okay? You might think, gosh, that's not that many. Well, here's the trick. You can use any of those eyeliners and then take this and dip it into any color eyeshadow and put that on your liner if you want to. So you don't have to use those eyeliners. Use a shadow with this brush and you can make any color shadow that we have look like an eyeliner, okay? So it really opens up um, the collection to be whatever you want it to be. So, all right, I'm gonna show you the last one here, or last one, <laughs> the last tool, I guess, and then I'll show you how we wanna make sure they're clean, right? The last tool is this blending sponge, okay? This one is um, fairly new to our line, but I love this one because it has this flat edge here, right? So you can stipple it. It's got this pointy end here so you can get into the shadow areas of your face. Um, and you guys can get this wet. This has what they call an open cell structure. The reason why this is more hygienic than other um, blending sponges on the market is because of this open cell structure and you use less product when you do it too. So you would get this wet underneath um, the running water and you squeeze it like this. We always say like squeeze it about 13 times. What that does is allow the brush or the blending sponge rather to absorb water and then less product. So it, you've pump it like that underneath the water. It kind of opens the cells in there. When you apply your product, the product isn't gonna seep inside the whole blending sponge. It's gonna stay right where you want it and then you can apply it. But the wet effect of it helps you to not use as much color. Um, so your product just lasts longer and you get a different effect too when you're applying it. So you can even do cheek color with this blending sponge. Um, you can you know, uh, tap out your concealer. There is a lot that you can do with this. So this is definitely, um, I had to just kind of add it in because it's just part of our tools that you just um, may or may not know that we had that. Um, all of these brushes are high quality. Of course, everything's guaranteed to Mary Kay, right? Okay, and then the last thing I just wanted to show you because a lot of people don't know that we have brush cleaner. Okay, so the first ingredient in here is alcohol. <laughs> so that means it is going to kill um, all the bacteria in your brushes. This is something that you would use by simply spritzing right on the head of the brush and then you just kind of um, rub it back and forth on a tissue or a paper towel. 
This is recommended to be used kind of throughout the week when you're maybe going from color to color when you're applying different things um, to kind of clean in between, okay? But we do recommend to always use something like Dawn soap and literally just get your, get your brushes wet, put the Dawn soap in there and just go to town and get all that color out there. That I recommend doing once to twice a week, um, but on a daily basis, use this brush cleaner. That way it will just, um, uh, you know, you spritz it on, it'll dry the next day, um, you'll be able to use it again. And I've even used them in between uses at one sitting, okay? <laughs> so you have that option as well. But our brush cleaner is great to just add on um, whenever you need it. And you guys, this will last you a while. <laughs> so, um, all right, so that's my um, little brush, uh, brush collection, um, little uh, uh, commercial, I guess, if you will. But um, I would love it if anybody has any particular questions, you can definitely just pop in and share those with me now. Um, Cher, I know you've got these added to, <laughs> to your wish list, absolutely. And the sponge, yes, for the corner of your eye. That is a great tip, I know, right? Um, yes, it, it is. It helps you to save product a lot. And you know, that's something that I do appreciate about Mary Kay's, you know, we're, we're here to, to make sure these tools work for you and to, um, to make sure that you're, you're getting the most out of your, um, out of your product, right? That you're purchasing. So, um, if you have any questions on pricing or anything, of course, just reach out to your uh, beauty consultant. And uh, if you were a consultant hopping on, hi, Martha, um, then, uh, and Kathy was on here too, um, uh, just know that uh, you've got this video now that you can share. And also on our Mary Kay websites as well, there's great um, brush videos that you can share with your customers as well. So, hi, Jean. Thank you for tuning in, ladies, and have a great night. Bye.